the VF4 by Carry Speed LCD viewfinder. I was amazed by this product. The quality is astounding. It looks amazing on my camera. Makes it look like a $10,000 camera. There are a lot of pros and only one con for me. So I'll get the con out of the way right now. From then on, it will only be pros. I'm gonna take my viewfinder out for one second and show you. This is what you need to attach to the bottom of your camera in order to fit the viewfinder. For this, you need an Allen key that is provided with the VF4 and you need it to tighten or unscrew this this bolt from under your camera and the only con that I find is I wish I could do it with my with my bare hands without the need for a tool now that being said there is a quick release button which is turnable by hand and so in the worst case you can just unscrew this remove the VF4 and continue using your camera as you would normally there are screws on the bottom so you don't need to remove this plate to go back to the standard viewing mode if you will you can keep this plate on and act as if it's not there but still I wish I could unscrew this one with my bare hands I need I carry this around with me the Allen key at all times in case I need to remove this in a an emergency but I can't see exactly when that would be absolutely needed so that being said this thing is really amazing this is professional grade I mean it is so well made it's surprising it's not that expensive it's uh, around two hundred dollars I think I paid for it Canadian at quick first glance what you need to know about this is that everything that's black is plastic except for the the eyepiece this is rubber everything that's red is metal and I think it's all aluminum okay so this is a focus ring and I, I always set it to neutral I don't wear glasses I'm not sure even how to use this but you can change the focus if you're wearing if you need prescription glasses uh, I guess this may be of some use to you but it isn't for me um, the bolts I don't know if they make aluminum bolts but it feels like aluminum anyways it's very solid it could be steel I'm not sure exactly um, they, they work by hand you can unscrew them with your hands or you can use the tool that's provided there's a hole on top for the allen key here they put two I think it's a over engineering but I'll take over engineering before under engineering any time of the day so they have two bolts here they are they can be uh, screwed tightened by hand or untightened by hand they they too have the the hole on top for the allen key um, for the eyepiece it can be removed like this and turned 180 degrees so that if you're a lefty or a righty it doesn't matter so I'm a I use my left eye so it's I always keep it this way this for me was uh, 
extremely important that I knew that this eyepiece could be twisted around. There is a dust guillotine cover. Okay, so this will keep the dust from uh, going into the, uh, the viewfinder. And there is this latch. Again, this piece is red, so it's metal. I think it's aluminum. You just press this and it opens, it lets you open the viewfinder like this. What this does is it lets you press your LCD screen. If you have functions on your LCD screens that you need to access with your finger, this is why there's a latch. When it's closed, you can't access your uh, LCD view, uh, your, your LCD screen on the camera. Um, if, you're, um, if there are functions that you really need to access, then you can open it, access, do your thing on the LCD screen, and then close this back down again. Okay, so how this works, how this is attached to the camera is you need the base plate. You need to attach the base plate first and then unscrew this quick release and you can slide in your viewfinder through this hole, tighten, tighten this quick release screw and there you go. You need to adjust your viewfinder sideways with these two screws and up and down with this one and this one. Once it's properly set, it's really a piece of cake. You can, uh, you can take it off, put it back on again, and it always stays put doesn't move. This is an extremely well built product. I mean, I am impressed. I'll show you, I'll prove to you that you can access your LCD screen. Let's press menu and here you can see there is no problem accessing even the leftmost icon there. Now, why do you want an LCD viewfinder? For me, for me it was the problem of shooting videos outside in sunlight. The LCD screen can be very hard to read indirect sunlight in any well-lit situation and so it is hard to follow your subject it is hard to focus right on the subject so this LCD viewfinder really makes up for for the reflectiveness of the LCD screen you will your videos will improve, I can almost guarantee it, just for, the, just for the fact that you can cancel out the reflection, the sunlight reflection with this. The eyepiece fits on your face and doesn't let sunlight in. And you even get a, a zoom factor in this, so your eye sees the screen bigger than it is actually. If you're hesitant on buying this product and think, well, I'll only use it in sun in well lit or sunlit situations, it might not be enough for me. 
There is another big advantage that you need to consider and I didn't envision that uh, it would have this effect on my movie making. Normally when you shoot your movies you hold your camera with both hands, right? So you have two contact points between the camera and your body. When you use the, the viewfinder, you still hold the camera the same way, but when pressing the eyepiece against your face, you add one more contact point with your body. So instead of holding your camera with two contact points, you add a third one, which makes the end product, your movie, more stable. This means that there isn't just one improvement to your movie making, there are at least two. And those are two big ones. It is easier to make sure that you are focused on your subject in sunlit situations. And it greatly improves your stability. There is less shaking because of this third contact point on your face. In conclusion, the product is extremely well made. Most of it is plastic. Some parts, some important moving parts are metal, including the latch, the bolts, this one, and the focus ring. This is rubber and you can flip it around so it works for lefties and for right righties I guess you would say um, did I mention it looks amazing it looks it looks really good I mean you put a mic on there on top and you look like you have a ten thousand dollar camera in your hands if you go to a wedding and you don't know what you're doing, at least you'll be looking like you know what you're doing. Which, you know, it does make a difference a little bit. The last thing I want to show you is how I pack this viewfinder. I use this very small backpack, which is the Flipside Sport 10LAW from Lopro and <clears throat> usually what I do is I leave the base plate on I leave it in because it doesn't bother me if I take pictures or if I shoot movies without the viewfinder it doesn't bother me to have the base plate on. It fits, still fits well in my backpack. And I've got this fairly good sized um, compartment in my bag, which I set up especially for the viewfinder. Okay, so this may be a con. This may, you know, it takes some space in your bag which is an inconvenience but the pros are s the advantages of using this eyepiece are well beyond I mean I would not leave the house and knowing that I'm shooting outside I would not leave without my viewfinder So when I get my subject, I can quickly put those together, tighten the quick release screw, and I'm ready to go. I just open the, the guillotine dust cover and shoot away. Thanks for watching.